Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Kurt Cobain on my client with 971 rating versus the real MVP with 1,299 rating, so it's going to be another high-rated DB video, and hopping right in, we will go ahead and see Kurt Cobain win the Rock Producer to shoot. They'll decide to go first, 60 versus 40, opening hands, we have Imperm, King Sarcophagus, Glory, King Sarcophagus, and Nib. Okay, so, pretty sure they're on, uh, on Phantom Knight, pretty sure they were on that deck before. Uh, then they have Divine Temple of Ailer, Ash Blossom, Snake Eye Ash, Moonlit. Okay, that hand's definitely nice. That hand's definitely nice. But we have Imperm, which actually uh, beats the hand so far. So we're going to go Glory, discard itself, plus King Sarcophagus. They Ash it, activate King Sarcophagus, discard it, Imperm. Yeah, that's tough. Yeah, that's pretty tough. I'm not going to lie. Uh, go Dump Happy, and then Summon Out Happy, Summon Out Glory, Overlay, Make Zombie Vampire. Uh, then they moonlit. Also, you have to specifically, you know, do what they did in Summon Glory first. Otherwise, you can get hit with Bestial. You know, some people are actually main decking, like, a Magma Mutt plus Druus Worm. Pass, they draw Ash Blossom. It actually sucks if we just had Imperm. Like, we don't win the game right away, but it would definitely be hard for the opponent here. Also, maybe there's a world where we were supposed to Zombie Vampire detach a material, even though we were under moonlit in case if our opponent just passes due to bricking and then we can have both horses in graveyard to summon them back next turn because like realistically we're never going to need both materials under this card at this point uh, so they're going to go ahead search out poplar summon poplar and then poplar effect go search out original sinful spoil from the decks of the hand divine temple bring out flame burge make link karibo and then Poplar spawn traps on itself, Snake Eye Ash send, bring out Oak, and then they're gonna go Oak effect, bring out Snake Eye Ash, okay. And then now they have Oak send itself plus Snake Eye Ash to go bring out Flame Birds, that's fine. Um, I guess uh, maybe I'm wrong about detaching because I guess then they could Flame Birds to put a horse in the spawn traps on. They can't target Zombie Vampire right now. Yeah, I said never mind, I can't. Yep, 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 yep. You know, I've gotten that mixed up so many times where, because it says accept those special summon from the graveyard, I've had it so many times uh, where I'm like, okay, ones from the graveyard can't target it. Uh, Zombie Vampire is such a cool card though, works really well with like Charmers too. But now they're going to go Flame Birds, Nightmare Phoenix, uh, pop the King Sarcophagus, summon back out Oak and Ash. And then now we're going to use those to make the Princess, Princess Effect, bring out Flame Birds. And then go ahead, make the Raging Phoenix, make World Sea, World Sea Effect, Banish, bring back. Yeah, they're going to summon it back face down. Sure, Princess Effect, go ahead, pop. And then Raging Phoenix, summon out. And then End of Main, activate Rock. Uh, can the opponent push through this, though? They are on Pier. So they're going to go Divine Temple, bring out Flame Burge. And then Flame Bridge, Spell and Trap Zone, Rock, Original, Send. Oh, yeah, it's game. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep, yep. Because they can go Link Karibo, Tribute, Special, Dark Charmer, Take Zombie, Vampire. I guess you could also take Glory. I guess that's technically the better take there. Yeah, go ahead, take. And then we have Jet Synchron, Discard, Special Summon Out. And then that's game. Okay. So, going on into... Yeah, their top deck didn't even matter. Uh, going on to game two now. We will go ahead and we will see Kurt Cobain go first. Opening hands, we have Talents, Terra Top, Silent Boots, Nib, Orcus Nightmare. So they are on Phantom Knight, but there's also Orcus in their deck that I didn't know about. Okay. Uh, they have Lightning Storm, Harpies, Imperm, Veiler, and Original. So once again, the opponent has a lot of going second cards, but their engine is very, very weak at this point. Uh, we're going to go Special Out, Terra Top, Terra Top Effect. Go grab out Attack and Tomborg, you know, butt face Tom, special summon out, and then use those. Make Cherubini, Cherubini effect, dump water enchantress, temple effect. Go ahead, search out Rite of Aramis here. Activate right, bring out token, bring out Fateful Adventure. Fateful Adventure, go search Griffin Rider. Then we have a free Orcus to discard there. Uh, Griffin Rider, special summon out, and then Fateful Adventure to go out, grab out the Draco back from the deck to the hand. That's good. Normal summon out silent boots and then make rusty. Now rusty effect. Uh, the opponent's gonna go ahead and imperm that. Huh. Is that 
a misplay? Well, I guess the opponent's on 60 cards, right? So we're not thinking about talents that much here. I was going to say, because what if you Valor this? If they let it go through and then talents you, like, sure, you lost anyways. But if you Valor this and then they Griffin to stop it, then you still have Imprim to stop this while playing around talents. I guess it's just not real, right? Okay. Uh, yeah, they're just going to lose here. Yeah, Griffin goes to deck. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, on Rusty for sure. Uh, now... Activate Talents, like a hand, they're going to hit back the originals, since Lightning Storm and Harpies aren't really doing that much here. Uh, they're going to go Boots, go search out Phantom Knight Wings. Well, I guess it depends exactly what they set up, right? If these cards will do something, but I assume not by them putting that back. Nightmare, dump Harp. Harp, go bring out Orcus Nightmare. And then use those to make IP. Okay, so they go for Orcus Nightmare. So they probably don't play a very big Orcus package. Set Wings, Pass. So Lightning Storm will not do anything because they could go Harpies on back or Lightning Storm on monsters is what you'd think. But Wings can target IP to keep it protected. And then they can do nothing else. Huh, so IP doesn't actually do anything, right? Because, I mean, this can't... Huh. Huh. Um, okay. So... They're going to go ahead, Lightning Storm, call monsters, activate wings onto IP there. And then this goes, so does IP not go? No, because wings, yeah, it won't go. Yeah, and then if they go, the thing is, like, this just doesn't matter, because if they go wing summon this out, like, IP won't work. Yeah, nothing, none of that will work, so, yeah. Yep, they let them know that wings is the reason why I lived. Wait. Wait, wait, they admit defeat? Am I dumb? Wait, did they have something I didn't realize there? Cause I mean, they had Black Witch, that looks like combo to me. I don't know. Um, I guess, I guess I'll look back after the match. Uh, cause like, yeah, okay. But we got Rock, Happy, Talents, Rock, Harp. We draw this card so much. Uh, this is a brick. This is practically a brick unless a frock goes through and stays there. They have Drew Swarm, Flame Burge, Ash Blossom, Fenrir, Black Witch. Yeah, a lot of the people who are playing Snake Eye type decks now side in Fenrir. Uh, it's really good against Rogue. And then also going first, being able to go like Fenrir, search Fenrir is very strong. Especially when you open Black Witch because then you get a free discard. Uh, now they're going to go ahead, Black Witch, go set Original, and then Normal Summon out, Ash Blossom, make Baron, Original Sun Fenrir, so you know, it doesn't get as much value out of the Fenrir as you normally do, but like, hey, hey, we'll take it, to be honest, we'll take it. Original, bring out Snake Eye Ash, Snake Eye Ash, grab out Poplar, summon Poplar, Poplar, grab out the Divine Temple from the deck to the hand, that's good. Then we can go activate. Uh, they're going to chain rock. They chain baron to shut that down. Uh, they're going to go ahead and bring out oak. Snake Eye Ashton, self plus oak. Bring out flame burge. Uh, now link those off up in the IP. We can leave baron on the field and just tag it out in the Fenrir on the opponent's turn. So make IP. Flame burge, poplar, spell and trap zone. Bring out oak, ash, and then oak effect. Bring out poplar from the graveyard. That's good. Uh, now they're gonna go Oak, send itself plus Flame Burge, summon Flame Burge from hand, Poplar into a Link Karibo, and then get rid of those to make Princess. Princess effect, summon back out Oak. Okay. Then they're gonna link off up in the Raging Phoenix, and then World Sea. Oh, I guess this works too. I, I guess I was thinking bad about the Baron, right? Because you just World Sea banish, bring this back out, and then it has its negate again. Yeah, Flame Bird, Spell and Trap Zone, IP. Okay, but I guess the question is, we shouldn't have Pop Lord to put Flame Bird in the Spell and Trap Zone. We should have put Ash Blossom in the Spell and Trap Zone, and then we wouldn't have had to use Oak Effect to send itself plus the Flame Bird in the Spell and Trap Zone to summon one from hand. We could have just went Princess, summon one back out from the graveyard. Yeah, so we did lose a little bit of value off of that misplay. Um, but... It looks like it's going to be fine here uh, with the hand that this person has. Normal summon out Harpoor. And then, I mean, Sky Crisis is an option, but it's a, it's a losing option, to be honest, because you just make that, and then the opponent's going to go on summon. 
Activate Princess to pop Oak plus Sky Crisis. Uh, they don't chain link Karibo, okay? Which is fair, because I mean, if you chain link Karibo, you don't have space for IP or the Flame Bird shenanigans. I don't even know if you're supposed to Princess that actually. Shouldn't you just Flame Bird summon IP and then use those to make SP? And then, I guess it just, yeah, yeah, don't you just do that? And then you get to summon back out two from the graveyard, so then you get the follow-up. Yeah, and you just SP banish this. Uh, now they're going to go activate Talents to draw two. Chain Baron. Yeah, they chained the Admit Defeat button, but they were just looking at their top cards. Uh, which were definitely not going to be good enough, because we're locked out of summoning for this turn. So, it just really wouldn't matter what we draw at that point. It'd be very, very, very hard to win when the opponent already has game on field for next turn. Uh, I guess, I guess Lightning Storm. Could have been something, but not good enough. But yeah, okay, so GG, GG. Uh, seeing how long the match was, it was about 20 minutes long, and we do see the pure snake eye deck end up beating the Phantom Knight uh, Orcus deck, which is a really weird list, I'm not going to lie. We play Water Enchantress, so it's like level 3. I, I don't know. I don't know why it's 60 cards. I guess the one thing I don't get is why is there Orcus cards in the deck? I guess that's the real question, right? How do we actually achieve the Orcus cards? Are we just trying to draw like Harpoor, Orcus Nightmare, and then discard them off of one of our engines? Because I mean, Phantom Knight's discard, Horus Card's discard, Water Enchantress causes us to discard. So we have a lot of discard outlets. So maybe we're just trying to draw them and then discard them. But does that justify your deck being at 60? You know, I mean, that's I guess that's up to you, but... With all that being said, the DB Grinders signing off. Peace, have a nice day, stay safe.